Sometimes all you have is five minutes for art, so let's paint a bright and cheerful landscape in just five minutes. For this tutorial, I'm using two brushes, a normal watercolor brush, and then I'm also going to be using this fan brush. If you don't have a fan brush, choose your brush that has the flattest edge and the stiffest bristles. Grab your watercolors and give them a spritz. Then I'm gonna start by taping off a square in my sketchbook. You don't have to do this part, but I love the crisp edges this gives, especially on landscapes. Then in my mixing wells, I'm gonna put a little water and I'm gonna make a puddle of yellow. I'm gonna load up my brush with it and with these fan brushes, notice that the bristles kind of stick together. We want that. I'm gonna tap off a little of the excess though. Then with a light touch on my paper, I'm gonna make an arc. I want the bristles to separate in that swoop so we get some areas of white that show through. Then I'm gonna put a little orange in my brush. I didn't wash it and I'm gonna move up the page just a bit and make another arc. Then I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna make another puddle of water. And this time I'm gonna load up my brush with some pink and mix it into that water and then tap off any excess. Move up the page and again, I'm gonna make another arc. If you don't get enough coverage with this brush, you can always do a second swoop, but try to keep a little of the white space cause it's part of the magic. We need to let this dry or make it dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna swap back over to my normal watercolor brush, and then I'm gonna load up my brush with a nice bright green color. About a fourth or a third of the way up, I'm gonna make a light stroke across, that's our horizon line. Then I'm gonna wash my brush, refill it with some yellow, and where the yellow is in the sky, I'm gonna pull that down, into the foreground. Wash my brush. I'm gonna refill my brush with a slightly darker green and I'm gonna tap that over to the other side. With that green color in my brush, I'm gonna tap into a little blue to make it a bit darker. And with that darker color along the horizon, I'm gonna tap to make some greenery. In the foreground, I'm gonna occasionally drop a little extra blue in there just to add a bit of shadow. I'm gonna let this dry or make it dry. And once it's dry, I can remove the tape to reveal a bright and fun and very simple sunset landscape.